What's up Atomic Fusions, my name is Prateek and welcome to Tech This Week on Exhibit. Did you know that the first self-driving concept of an EV car was made back in the year 1939 in GM's Exhibit? Let's glide on the winds of news in the tech industry. Twitter offices are about to shut down. Or not. It looks like Twitter cannot catch a break. Elon Musk had issued an ultimatum to Twitter employees to either commit long hours at high intensity to the company or leave. Employees were asked to sign a pledge by 5 pm ET on Thursday, and anyone who did not do so would reportedly receive three months of severance pay. It looks like the majority of Twitter employees have decided to walk away from the company. Following this mass resignation, Twitter has shut down its office buildings and disabled employee batch access until the coming week. With a lot of talk on the internet about Twitter shutting down, it would be interesting to see whether this microblogging platform survives this storm. We love Twitter, but the team and Elon seem to be a mismatch for now. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Qualcomm has now announced the flagship Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which will power the world's top Android phones and tablets next year. The company has added a number of AI features to its latest system on chip to enhance the mobile experience for its best to date performance. The flagship features include Snapdragon Smart, which will boost chip's AI performance, Snapdragon Sight for enhanced object recognition, Snapdragon Connect for AI supported connectivity, Snapdragon Elite Gaming, which boosts the gaming experience with a hardware accelerated ray tracing, and Snapdragon Sound for lossless and spatial audio support. Qualcomm also introduced the Snapdragon AR2 Gen 1, which is the company's first ever dedicated chip for AR technology. Sheesh, smartphones have become powerful computers after all. RTX 4080 is sold out. Nvidia's GeForce RTX 4080 is touted as one of the best graphic cards in the market right now. And it looks like the premium price tag of over a thousand dollars did not stop enthusiasts from jumping on to buy them as the premium graphic card went out of stock in under an hour. There are over 19 different custom GeForce RTX 4080 models available in the international market. However, all of them are currently out of stock. Apple is likely to launch an AR or a VR or MR mixed reality headset next year. The Cupertino-based tech giant Apple has long been rumored to be working on its mixed reality headset. Rumors have dated back as long as years where it looks like the Apple VR AR headset could soon be seeing the light of the day sometime in the next year. The upcoming headset is likely to be priced between 2000 to 3000 US dollars, making it a premium Apple device. The new headset will be running on a brand new operating system which will be called Reality OS. Meta is struggling but Apple usually seems to find success. What is your take? OnePlus 11 leaks are all over the internet. OnePlus 11 powered by the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 is currently in the works. While the SoC it is based on was quite an obvious guess for any tech enthusiast, other details about it are well under wraps. Well, only until now. A Chinese tipster has leaked some key specifications of the OnePlus 11. The device is tipped to come with left cornered hole punch display. The device will come with 2K resolution with curved edges. The OnePlus phone could also support a metal middle frame and a ceramic body. It is also tipped to come with 16 GB of RAM and UFS 4.0 storage. India to adopt USB Type-C as a universal charging port. Following the EU step, India will soon be implementing the universal Type-C charging port in our near future. A central interministerial task force has reportedly reached a consensus towards the adoption of USB Type-C as a uniform charging port for all electronic devices. While there are no promised timelines as to when this will be officially implemented in the country, reports suggest that 2024 is when we could see the change. We are looking at you Apple. A US military plane has landed after 908 days in the space. A secretive US military space plane X-37B has beaten its previous flight record by staying in the orbit for 908 days. Before landing, the autonomous craft was operated by the United States Space Force and is officially classified. Thus, the details about its purpose or missions have not been revealed. However, officials have revealed that it carried out a range of scientific missions during its 2.5 years in space. Interstellar travel is possible already. Another week, another week of layoffs in the tech industry. This time, it's Amazon. 
The tech industry is going through a bleak time with layoffs happening left, right and center. Amazon is the latest company to lay off its employees. The company revealed that it is targeting about 10k job cuts including its retail division and human resources. Jeff Bezos recently revealed that he will be hiring 1.5 million people for upcoming projects. What exactly is happening at Amazon? Netflix remove your device feature. Have you been in a position where your Netflix account has reached people you don't even know thanks to your friends sharing your password with them? Worry no more cause Netflix has now announced the launch of a manage access and devices feature which allows account users to remotely log out of devices they don't recognize or no longer want signed in. So the next time you want your ex kicked out of your Netflix account, it won't be an issue. Microsoft Teams now lets you play games together. With remote working not going away anytime soon, Microsoft has announced a new social gaming functionality inside its Teams platform. The Games for Work app inside Teams now allows colleagues to challenge each other to games like Minesweeper, Wordament, Icebreaker and even Solitaire. Intel loses a billion dollar lawsuit. Intel is on the hook for a massive $948.8 million judgment after a federal jury in Texas decided that it infringed a key patent held by VLSI technology. The jury sided with VLSI in the case and awarded it nearly a billion dollars. It was only back in March 2021 when VLSI won the $2.81 billion case in a different infringement case against Intel. Damn, tech news is getting more spicy each coming week. What is it that you think about the tech news this week? And also, if there's anything that we missed, let us know in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, do all the good part and good will come to you. Until next time, ciao.